of started getting thrown around as an overall uh, sort of sweeping term for the prosecution of uh, the environmental activists. Um, and of course, the Green Scare being a reference to the Red Scare of the communist hunting days of the 1950s. Um, uh, you know, the, the, there are so many of the definitions of terrorism and the, the tools that are used to prosecute terrorism have now been turned on an environmental activist, beginning really with the, the, uh, the Patriot Act uh, in 2001. There are a couple lines in the Patriot Act that, that loop in specifically environmental activists for prosecution as uh, under terrorism laws. And uh, the, uh, the, the laws that have been passed uh, to, uh, to go after environmentalists sort of steadily uh, have been increasing. Um, most recently, with the, the, the big leap has been this 2006 law that you have pointed out, which is the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act, which makes all kinds of different stuff that was not considered terrorism before into terrorism, uh, including things that were considered vandalism or mischief before. One interesting uh, case that has been moving forward uh, under the AETA, the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act, is a case that involves a group of people who protested outside the home of a university, I believe it was a university researcher, um, and in which they were chanting and in which they were drawing uh, chalk drawings on the sidewalk. Now, um, no matter what was being chanted or what was being drawn on the sidewalk, and I'm not sure what that was, uh, I think bef prior to the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act, this would have been considered um, free speech or at least, uh, you know, if there was possibly people who were engaged in this kind of activity would be uh, arrested for disorderly conduct if they were disturbing the people in the home or, you know, try blocking their, their ability to get to their driveway or some kind of thing like that. Um, but now this, could, this is uh, being considered uh, possibly federal terrorism and uh, is uh, the people who, uh, who are convicted under these laws face quite stiff penalties. And they also face the use of a federal terrorism sentencing enhancement, which uh, was the significance of that Eugene case I mentioned in 2005. It was the first time that was used against environmental activists. Dean, we're going to uh, have to. Which at a judge's dis Go ahead. At a judge's discretion. At a judge's discretion, they could add as much as 20 years to the sentences uh, of, these, uh, of these activists. Well, and uh, obviously now the, also the probation conditions are, are pretty uh, extreme as well. Well, Dean Kuypers, we'll have to leave it there, um, but we will continue to follow Rod Coronado's case. Dean Kuypers works at the Los Angeles Times. His book is called Operation Bite Back, Rod Coronado's War to Save American Wilderness. In Coronado's 2006 letter renouncing arson, he wrote, quote, don't ask me how to burn down a building, ask me how to grow watermelons or how to explain nature to a child.